back to our channel first of all i would like to wish you a very happy new year and uh, let's start our new year with some more learnings okay so um, today i'm going to talk about uh, you know how to create a web application on ec2 instance so we are going to learn uh, to create a, a web application and we are going to host that application on an amazon uh, server which is an amazon ec2 instance okay so uh, basically this this uh, we all i have you might have already seen my previous videos where i have shown you how to create a, a linux server on cloud so once you have done that uh, if you have not done that you have to watch my uh, previous videos for cloud uh, playlist from cloud playlist and this is our channel if you have not subscribed please subscribe so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch a server and I am going to, uh, um, you know, launch an application also at the same time on the app, on the server and we are going to test that application. Okay. So this is our agenda. So I'm going to log into the console uh, with, uh, and I have also enabled the multi-factor authentication. So I'm going to need that. So I am opening my MFA code yeah so once I'm logged into my console uh, so what I have to do is uh, I have to create an, an EC2 instance and at the same time I have to launch the web application okay so it is very simple and uh, in in five to ten minutes you will be able to create a website which is online and accessible from anywhere on the internet okay so what do you have to do is you have to go to services and search for ec2 and i have shown you how you can create a free tier account so this is i'm using a free tier account and so i do not have currently any instances running so if you click on instance there are no instances at the moment okay so what i'm going to do is uh, I have to click on launch instances and then we are going to use the Amazon instance Amazon Linux okay so uh, this is already selected here you have a bunch of varieties of options that you can use okay, like you can create a Red Hat server or you can create a Ubuntu or Mac OS okay so for the for our demo we are using Amazon Linux and you see it is a 64-bit kernel and we are going to use this family t2 micro and also and uh, we are you can also have a key pair uh, you know uh, to log into the server which we are not going to do at this moment but it's always good to generate a key pair and log in with a key pair you can also log in without a key pair but i have already re ready this uh, with me this key pair so now i'm going to go ahead and go to network and click on edit so here you have to select the virtual uh, default uh, vpc which is already selected there and auto assign public ip is enabled if you don't know about all those things don't worry about that we are going to cover these in our next um, session okay so and here you have to uh, inbound security rules you have to set up so you have to uh, add uh, more rules here like uh, you know from where uh, you are going to get the traffic from into the website okay so yeah so here uh, ssh is already there and then what you have to do is you have to add more uh, stuff into this so just go to advanced details and here uh, select so you have to also uh, select an IAM role which I have already created okay so I'm going to select here uh, EC2 S3 Dynamo DB full access if you uh, are not aware about this role at this moment that is fine just uh, trust me that I'm using the correct setting we are going to use, uh, see these roles and all in, in my next videos okay so this is it and then you are able to do it then uh, one more thing was there the uh, 
the source type okay so source type i have to add uh, one more uh, i have to add this source source type uh, custom you know uh, where is this http add security group rule okay so yeah okay so i'm going to add uh, http uh, okay and then also i am going to add https okay which is going to be uh, first of all uh, it has to be http and https both so we are going to accept the traffic from http and https so http will be from port 80 and port 443 HTTPS, okay so these two rules you have to set up and then you have to uh, go to user data and here we are going to uh, write uh, the uh, uh, these uh, steps to you know uh, install the application so this is the uh, steps I have to uh, do so these these are the steps to you know uh, so either you can uh, you know directly uh, do it after uh, once the once the server is uh, up or you can put it into the user data so anything that you put into the user data that will be executed okay when the server is launched okay so these are it is very much uh, clear from here also so i'm going to give an explanation about that so yum y update will update all the applications which are uh, on the server it's always good to update all the apps when you launch that server then we are going to update the repository uh, with this node.js then we are going to install node.js minus y will give yes to all your questions and then we are going to create a directory where app where this app will be installed my web application okay and then we are going to download the uh, you know files for this app we are going to unzip that file folder into this var app we are, going, we are going to that folder and then we are going to install the dependency using the npm install and then we are going to start the application okay so once this all everything is done what you have to do is you have to uh and yeah it is a free tier so it won't be charged unless the 750 hours is, is completed okay so now i'm going to click on launch instances okay so so http here http so source type anywhere yeah it has to be anywhere and then here also anywhere yeah so it has, it has to be anywhere and then this will be http so these are the two sources I have added, right? So now it will it will be uh, I don't need to specify here because I've just specified the sources anywhere. Okay. Okay, let me check if there is an issue now. Launch instance. Okay. So now we have clicked on launch instance. So we have to wait for some time uh, unless the uh, server is up. So this is a launch log. So you can see it has been succeeded okay so now we go and check the, the instance is up okay so so we have to wait unless the instance is up and running so if i click on this you see the instance state is still uh, not up so now see it is running so it's always good to give a you know uh, a name with application okay server so it is to give an a readable name because you need you see this id is not at all readable okay so now the server is up and running and also we, we have to make sure that the status check is uh two by two checked from both the sides so now you click on select this instance and you will get uh see if you go to security now you will see that there is a rule uh, specified you know like uh, uh, what are the ports is available inbound like incoming traffic can can come from where so you can access this application from http and https you know at t and it four four three okay and we are we are, we don't care about the outbound rule at the moment we are only uh, 
are taking care of the incoming traffic okay so if you just click on refresh so the the, the server is up let me check if it is the application is accessible so there is always when the server is up you will get a public ip address and the dns name so just copy the public ip and try to access the server and see if the application can be accessible or see the employee directory app is is up and running on the this uh, dns the, the ip address okay so now the, these errors are accept accepted at this uh, expected at this moment okay uh, because uh, we haven't set up the images uh, s3 bucket and the database dynamo db table okay so if you do anything on the images you won't find anything because you see the configuration uh, you know there is s3 bucket is not set up and the dynamo db is not set up which we are going to do in our next session okay so this this was the agenda of our current session where we are going to see uh, and launch the web application and you see it is up and running on this on this port you can also copy the uh, dns name but you'll have to specify the uh, http or https okay so just give here uh, http okay so now i see it should be okay so it is not uh, let me try https okay okay uh, probably will have to use this uh, okay this is a private ip i'm sorry you have to use the public ip okay so you click the public dns name and then you have to do http and then the ip okay so see this is how the the directory app is up and running so uh, this was the tutorial for today i just wanted to show you how we can launch a web application on amazon ec2 instance so these are the steps you have to include while you, you are launching so either you can uh, you know uh, do these steps after the server is launched or you can uh, uh, run this in the user data so once you put it into the user data it is automatically executed okay so you, you can also click on you know connect and connect ec2 instance and then if you click on connect so you, will go, you will be able to go to the server without you know any login this is the direct instance connect which is given by aws so this is how the uh, server can be accessed i'm still waiting for the okay uh i'm able to connect to instance ensure that your network settings are configured correctly okay uh, i don't i'm not sure why i'm getting this error is unable to connect to instance network settings are correctly Okay, I think SSH was not enabled probably. So that is the reason it is, uh, you know, giving me that error. But uh, let me check if I can fix that security. Okay. Okay, SSH is a uh, source. It's not defined here. Maybe I'll have to uh, correct this SSH setting that's not the agenda at this moment uh, we are going to uh, launch the application uh, with uh, more uh, specifics like you know setting up the s3 bucket and dynamo db and uh, keep uh, watching for the next tutorial and thank you for watching and uh, cheers